Okay, welcome everyone. Um, uh, my name is Jennifer Keenahan and I'm here with my colleagues uh, Kevin Nolan and Vikram Bakrashi. Uh, and we're going to present today um, on the UN's Sustainable Development Goals uh, as they appear in our undergraduate engineering curriculum. Um, so I guess what's really important to consider is that the graduates that are leaving university um, this year uh, really, they can expect to, to live for another 60 years. And by 2080, um, there'll be really wide ranging adverse climate and ecological changes. And our graduates will have to live through these profound changes. Uh, and so the question we find ourselves uh, asking is how does their educational experience prepare them uh, for the challenges that they're going to face? And the expectations of, of the next generation is that we will take sustainability seriously, that we will include it in the formal curriculum and that we will prepare them uh, for the challenges that they're going to face in their professional uh, and private lives. The student perspective uh, is quite stark. Um, the National Students uh, Union and, and their partners uh, SOS, uh, Students Organising for Sustainability, have been uh, undertaking this survey since 2014. And uh, year on year, there's an increase uh, in how concerned students say they are uh, about climate change, uh, reaching a peak of 90 and 91 percent in, in the last two years. Um, this is also mirrored in the employer perspective. Um, and uh, this survey that was carried out by Engineers Ireland um, reports on those sustainability development goals uh, that ought to be covered in depth in engineering education programmes. And uh, understandably, um, affordable and clean energy, clean water, uh, climate action, uh, sustainable cities uh, and communities are, are the top of the list. And what's particularly interesting uh, in, in the Irish context is, is that Engineers Ireland, which is our professional body uh, representing engineers, um, in, in all of its uh, formal reporting and, and strategic documents, uh, the word uh, sustainable and sustainability uh, features throughout. Uh, it, it is threaded throughout all guidance documents and, and all, uh, all strategies. Um, and even uh, so far as uh, that, that Engineers Ireland have declared a climate emergency and a biodiversity emergency. Um, in fact, this month last year, um, on, uh, on World Engineering Day for Sustainability. Um, Engineers Ireland have also developed a framework um, of the actions to embed sustainability uh, throughout what we do. And of particular interest um, is the accreditation criteria. Uh, so Engineers Ireland is the accreditation body um, that, that, that accredits the engineering programmes uh, in Ireland. And they have reformulated their accreditation criteria uh, to include uh, sustainability more explicitly. Um, so, for example, uh, in, in problem analysis, uh, in design, um, and in professional and ethical responsibilities, uh, sustainability is now a key program outcome. And in, in the program areas, uh, sustainability is, is clearly detailed as being a key responsibility that we, delivering engineering education, um, must look at and, and must deliver on. And then closer to home in the UCD context in, in University College Dublin, um, we have recently published our strategy uh, for the next four years uh, to 2024. And the number one theme, the number one criteria in that strategy is to develop a sustainable global society. 
And that word sustainability is again threaded uh, throughout that uh, strategy document. Um, so the context uh, in, in Ireland, uh, fr from the university level to the professional body, uh, to what the students are telling us and what the employers are telling us, is that integrating sustainability and the sustainable development goals uh, into education and into our programmes uh, is, is essential. And so I'm briefly now going to talk about uh, what I'm doing in, in my module in UCD. So I deliver a module called the Engineering and Architecture of Structures uh, to second year students. Um, I have about 80 uh, engineering and architecture students um, and I work with them in interdisciplinary groups uh, of five students uh, for project work. Um, and in parallel to this module, uh, the architecture students are developing individual projects in their studio class. And I ask my students to develop the structural scheme designs, uh, the engineering scheme designs, if you will, uh, for the architecture projects that students are creating in their studio module. So those pictures there on screen uh, show some of the project work uh, that students are developing uh, at the moment. And after students create their initial design uh, partway through the semester, uh, I give them a workshop and I invite in experts uh, in the area of sustainable design and embodied carbon. Um, and, and students are given, given a workshop on this topic. Um, and they're then invited to revise their scheme design uh, based on this new learning. Um, so students might think initially that they're going to create their design entirely in timber uh, because it is notionally a sustainable material. Uh, and then after the workshop, they realise actually um, there's there can be a large amount of embodied carbon um, and, and issues where the timber has travelled halfway around the world uh, to, to the site and it's not, not actually as sustainable uh, as they had thought. Um, and then what I expect students to do is to record uh, the development of their design as part of their final submission uh, so that they track through um, their, their initial design, what they then learned about sustainability and embodied carbon, um, and then how their design has changed to be more sustainable uh, that, than it was initially. Um, so at this point, I'm, I'm going to hand over to, to my colleagues, um, uh, initially to Kevin Nolan, and, and then he will hand over onwards to Vikram. Uh, and they're going to talk about uh, the initiatives that they are using in, in their teaching of their modules. Uh, so over now to Kevin. 